What's up guys, it's CS back here with another installment and you guys are watching my Strike Force Fedor vs. Silva picks. Alright guys, now here we go, Strike Force Heavyweight Grand Prix, it should be fun. And yeah, if you haven't heard about the Grand Prix Strike Force Heavyweight the Strike Force is throwing, then please check out my video. I'll leave a link right there. And yeah, uh, what can I say? They got some of the premier heavyweights in the world in this tournament, so I'm really looking forward to it. Of course, if someone does get hurt, there are reserve bouts for the tournament, and you'll see three of them on this main card. So yeah, it should be fun. Let's start by taking a look at one of those reserve bouts, and it is between Valentin Oberim and Ray Sifo. Alright guys, now this is pretty easy. Ray Sifo keeps it standing, Ray Sifo wins his fight. That's about it. Valentin Obrim, I don't think has uh, the means to get Ray Sifo onto the ground, onto his back, or uh, work for any submission at all. Because, you know, yeah, Ray Sifo is going to keep this standing. He's strong as an ox. I think his K1 level um, kickboxing will, you know, do the talking in this match. So i got to pick Ray Sifo here to win by a knockout. I don't think Valentin is anywhere near shape or form. Uh, Alistair Obrim, his older brother, who's better at everything in mixed martial arts compared to him. So, i got to go with Ray Sifo here to win by a knockout. I just think he keeps it standing, uses his leg kicks to cut Valentin off, limit his movement, and from there he's going to use uh, his hands to, you know, put a hole in Valentin Overeem's face. So, i got Ray Sifo via knockout. I'm going to say mid-first round punches. Alright guys, now here we go. Next bout in the main card it is between heavyweights. John Piero Volante and Chad Griggs. This, of course, is also a reserve bout for the Grand Prix. Okay, to be honest, I'm not going to give the most educated breakdown of this fight because I don't know a heck of a whole lot about him. Chad Griggs, you know, wrestler, uh, likes to TKO you from the top. That's his kind of style. And we got Jean Piero Volante. Apparently, he likes to do the same thing, and um, he does have some knockout power like Griggs, and he has a blue belt in uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu to back it up. But I don't think that's going to be existent here. He's a blue belt under someone I've never heard of. And yeah, Chad Griggs, you know, I think he's too devastating in this fight. Uh, because looking at um, the record of Jean Piero Volante, he's beat like, you know, 500 level guy in the guys. So I got to go with Chad Griggs here. Going to win by a, I'm going to say first round TKO. Sorry, I'm not giving the most educated breakdown of this fight. But hey, don't exactly chastise me if, you know, Volante wins. So. You know, like I said, it's not that educated, so I'm sorry. Nevertheless, let's move on to the next bout. This is another reserve bout in the heavyweight Grand Prix. We got LeVar Johnson and Shane Del Rosario here, two of the brighter stars in um, the heavyweight division for Strike Force. Um, two of the brighter rising stars. I'm sorry. Uh, we got Shane Del Rosario on one side. You know, he has pretty good submissions, knockout power, pretty technical striker. I think. And he has a very good chin, and he can hold his own against some wrestlers. So, you know, I think this guy's a pretty darn good fighter. And then we got LeVar Johnson, scrappy dude, a very good Muay Thai practitioner. Throws a lot of heat in both, both hands, good knees, good kicks. And, yeah, uh, he's primarily a stand-up fighter. I think Del Rosario is going to come in with a game plan, somehow gets his thing to the ground, where I think he can outclass Del... Um, where I think he can outclass LeVar Johnson. And I don't see Le LeVar Johnson, you know, getting up or... Um, you know, surmounting any offense while he's in on the ground with someone like Del Rosario. So I got Del Rosario winning via gotta go rear naked choke. I think uh, Lavar Johnson's gonna make some mistakes and give up his back. So I got Shin Del Rosario by RNC in round one. All right, y'all. Now let's move on to Komain, and it is between Andrei Arlovsky and Sergey Haritanov, which will be the first bout in the heavyweight Grand Prix. Uh, here we go. Let's take a look at each fighter. We got Sergey Haritanov on one side, uh, Golden Glory product, last guy to beat um, Alistair Overeem. I think that's pretty compelling. And yeah, he has uh, devastating knees, punches, and he has decent kicks as well. And um, uh, while in stand up, this guy has a very good chance of winning due to his uh, technical skills and uh, his power. So, you know, um, yeah, he's a devastating striker. What can I say? I think uh, um, Andrei Olovsky is the more technical boxer. I think his power pales in comparison to Sergei Haritanov's, but also his chin as well. You know, Andrei Arlovsky's chin's deteriorated, in my opinion, and um, he's gun shy. So, you know, this is not a recipe for success for, you know, uh, a stand up fighter. Because, sure, 
Arlovsky does have some submission game, but let's be honest, he is primarily noted for being a technical boxer. And uh, I just don't think that um, he has what it takes to beat uh, Haritanov as of right now. I think that uh, it's over for Arlovsky because uh, if he was gun shy against a grappler, uh, how gun shy is he going to be against someone like Haritanov, who is a devastating striker, in my opinion? I don't see much gr ground fighting in this fight. I think this is going to be primarily. I think this is primarily going to be stand up, and uh, I don't think Arlovsky is going to look to take it to the ground. I don't know what he's going to do in this fight, but what I think will happen is that it will, will it will result in a late first round KO for Sergey Haritanov. I think um, they're going to eventually let their hands fly towards the, the you know towards past halfway point of the round uh, in round one, and I think that's where Haritanov will um, catch Arlovsky with a few shots. And I think Arlovsky is gonna go down. I don't like his chin at all. And sure, he um, sure he survived three rounds with Antonio Silva, but um, Antonio Silva he has decent power, but um, you know he wasn't even hitting Arlovsky square in the jaw. You know I can't say his chin has improved because I think if Brett Rogers can uh, knock out Arlovsky, I very well do think. Haritanov has a very good shot at doing so as well. So I gotta pick him by first round knockout. I think Arlovsky is getting punched in the face. Sorry. All right, guys. Now here we go. Main event. It is the second fight in the Strike Force Heavyweight Grand Prix, and this one is between Fedor Emelianenko and Antonio Silva. This is on the other side of the tournament, uh, not the side that you know Arlovsky and Haritanov are. But yeah, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't wait for this one. Um, Fedor, haven't seen him fight since his loss against Verdum, pretty devastating loss as well. But if Fedor was gonna lose to anyone, it was gonna be something like that. He was gonna get outclassed to the ground. I just think he had a higher chance of succumbing to something like that than saying, you know, getting knocked out because I don't see him getting knocked out, ever. And uh, I don't think Antonio Silva has the skills to beat Fedor. He doesn't have, you know, Verdum, Jiu-Jitsu. Um, not at that caliber, and I think, you know, Fedor is still a very good grappler, and I don't think he's going to get caught in anything silly from Antonio Silva, and I don't think Antonio Silva can outbox him like he outboxed a gun-shy Arlovsky. Um, Fedor is never gun-shy, and, you know, he's eventually going to catch his opponent with something if this thing is stand-up, especially someone who's just learning the schneid of boxing, like, say, Antonio Silva. Antonio Silva's technical boxing has improved, but I think there's things he has to work on, head movement, uh, lateral movement, um, you know, his striking defense in general. And I think um, it's going to show that uh, he doesn't have it when he does get tagged with one of the big shots that Fedor throws. And from there, I think Fedor is going to smother him and uh, go for a TKO and not get caught in anything stupid. So that's my pick for this fight. I got Fedor Yamalanenko winning by first round TKO. Um what can I say, guys? I think he gets back up on his horse. So I got to go with Fedor here. I just don't see him losing to Wilfred Silva. All right, guys. Now that about does it for my picks for Fedor versus Silva. Hope you guys enjoy the card and, you know, the Strike Force Heavyweight Grand Prix. You know, I think there are holes in it, but I think this should be fun. So I hope all of y'all will enjoy it. I know I will. And yeah, um, should be a good card as for Fedor versus Silva. So please let me know if you guys. Um, like my picks, please comment, and yeah, if you have anything to say, say it, so just leave anything, you know, positive, negative, whatever, I want to hear what you guys think, and yeah, if you want, video respond, you're always welcome to do that, and yeah, I guess that about does it for me, subscribe if you like what you see, guys, thank you, stay in school, and see ya.